Anyway, I'm like, oh, yeah. This is from Shane and... <laughs> Shane's from Johnson City in Tennessee. No joke there, then. No, no. You haven't heard that one before, then, Shane. Uh, Shane says, Dear Craig, I have a pet boa constrictor. Oh. oh. And my friends think that's weird. What do you think? I have two boa constrictors. You do not? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. God, that is weird, man. I don't think, I don't think it's that weird. Um, I'd like to know what type of boa constrictors they are, because they get pretty huge, you know, they get hard to manage when they Well, you, what do you call them when they're that size? Venti? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They get ginormous and they eat like rabbits and your arms. Don't that say game. that. They yeah. eat rabbits? They will eat it's a rabbit. It's the year of the rabbit. Is it really? The year of the rabbit. They will do that. They will eat a full rabbit. Really? Well, how can a snake get a rabbit? are pretty fast. A snake can't get hold of a rabbit. The rabbit would have to be napping or in well. some... They'd have to drug the rabbit and so like, come back to my place. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, take Relax. it easy. Oh, please, snakes don't do that anymore. Have another. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, what a lot of pet owners do is they just throw it in with the snake, and then, you know, if the snake's in a thing as about as big as your desk, sooner or later, the rabbit and the snake are going to come to grips with That's actually. awful. It's terrible. But yet, it's nature. Yeah, well, kind of nature, because in I, nature, they'd be, you know, all running around doing their thing. Right. Well, you, uh, you should let contained. your boa constrictors go, then. I sometimes give my snakes a little bit of a run, so I'll take them outside. Me too. <laughs> I'll take them outside in the garden, and I'll create, like, a little space for them, and then I'll put some... You should make obstacles for them, like that TV show. Like, they have to go through little hoops and... <laughs> right? Yeah. Crimson factor. Yeah, Crimson factor. No, it's, it's called something else here. Oh, it's, is uh, it? Um... Uh, what's the show where they have to do stuff? America's biggest... Oprah? No, not Oprah. <laughs> uh, the, uh... What's it? It might be Oprah, actually. I think yeah, it's it could Oprah, be Oprah, yeah. No. <laughs> <coughs> would, you, would you go on Oprah with your boa constrictors? She'd never invite me on. She I'm might ask you on with the... Enough. Were you snakes? Yeah, if you went I'd do that. If you, she went, and now here's the snake guy everyone in America's talking about. Yeah, I could do that. And then while I'm on the Oprah show, I could have some revelation that I've secretly been hiding in my psyche for years. That Like you from pass, another like, planet? Oh, I was touched by a priest when I was seven. And she'd go, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you do on Oprah. I don't know. I, it's a while since I've seen it. Um, <laughs> all right, this is from uh, Rebecca in Morrisville in North Carolina. Have you ever been to the Carolinas? They're, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. You, you have been. to go there. Never oh, been. they're lovely. I've only done the coastlines. I've done, like, San Francisco, L.A., and then New York's, you know, the coast, Miami. North Carolina, South Carolina, they're on the coast. Oh, right. See, I don't know anything. <laughs> I've done Austin a little bit, but Austin. I'm not done the middle bit. I want to do the road trip from one What was, what was your, your mom's name? Michigan. Oprah? <laughs> Oprah, Michigan? Yeah. Your mom's name? That's a nice name. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, this is from Rebecca in Morrisville in North Carolina. She says, uh, Dear uh, Craig and Dominic, I'm 27. I've decided to go on vacation alone, but don't know a fun place to go. Any recommendations? Well, now, you're a world traveler. You're mm. always going around with your snakes and mm. such and doing stuff and eating bugs on TV and that kind of thing. Yeah, it depends how adventurous you are. I think Thailand's a really good place to go, Vietnam. Vietnam's fun, Cambodia's really fun. They're um, all the same kind of theme there, don't you? Mix yeah. it up a little bit. Fiji, New Zealand. You, oh, you, what, you did the, uh, the, the Hobbit movie there. Yeah, I did yeah, the Lord of the Rings there, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It was a long time ago. <laughs> hey, they were, they've, been back, on, they've been on recently. The, Who's uh, they? The, the Return of the King and the King... I've heard they were the Lord of the, on Yeah, they've TV been on the, Yeah. Scotland, love the place to go. I was in Scotland for New Year's. Were you really? For Hogmanay. Really? Yeah. yeah How I was long were you in hospital was, afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> I did have one of the worst hangovers of my life. Oh, there. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I was best men at a friend's wedding. I would recommend Scotland. Billy got married, didn't Billy he? Billy got married, yeah. married, yes. I'd recommend Scotland, but probably between, like, May and August, because the weather is pretty brutal when you're up there. In Scotland, yeah, up. it can get a little bad, yeah. Island's amazing. Yeah. There's a lot of cool places to go. Get out of America. No offence to America, but, like, whenever I'm in my country... No, I'm not... I'm, no offence. I always think a holiday is like that feeling of change and something different, a new experience, and it's very, dif it's very so difficult to where, go on holiday in your own country. Where you know, are so. you going this year, then? The caves of Tora Bora, perhaps? <laughs> I want to go to... This year, I want to go to either Christmas Island or Easter Island. Oh, I'd like to go to Easter Island, and then I wouldn't be the one with the giant head. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>
And those heads are just amazing. Christmas Island's really cool. I'd like to go to Madagascar, but I got some interest in. Did you see that? The, the Madagascar, the cartoons, they were hilarious. Loved it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's some good times. Yeah, I love yeah. cartoons, man. Yeah, I like cartoons, me. Do you like, uh, do you like that, uh, what, that, the Pepe Le Pew? I like Pepe Le Pew. I like skunks in real life. I think they're really I amazing. I like skunks, yeah, except when they uh, jump in front of my car. Yeah, but they're quite glamorous and quite cool looking. I like the colour and I don't actually mind the smell. Are you mistaking the word skunk for Kardashian? Because it's a very different thing. <laughs> they are in the same bracket. <laughs> kind of, yeah. But I like the smell. I think the smell... Not Kardashians or here. skunks? Kardashians. You're right, yeah. Um, the smell of success. Mm. Um, no, I, li I think it's nice, that musky, skunky, dirty kind of smell, you know? I think it's quite cool. <laughs> I live really close to Griffith Park and I got, I had, um, I was driving home the other day and there was a dog, what I thought was a dog, just hanging out by the side of the road, yeah. um, watching the cars go by. And it was a coyote, they're so... Coyotes, tame. yeah, they're, no, they're very, they're very, they're very civilized now, the coyotes. Super You'll chill. see them, they're kind of sarcastic. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like you walk by them and you go, hey, get away from me, and they're like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. oh, oh, you look at you all, opposable thumbs, yeah. <laughs> And it's a great way to spot a coyote, like if it looks a little bit like a, it could be a dog, could be a coyote. Dogs do that run, which we all know. All right, yeah, they, yeah, like that. This one, right? yeah, yeah. Coyotes do this kind of like giraffe, lazy giraffe run. It's like an economical run. They must have worked out that to save energy, they do that kind of lolloping run, you know? Strip. Maybe maybe it's just an affectation. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was kind of saying, I'll run away, but I'm not really that scared. Right, I'm not that scared. Maybe I'll run away. I'll just lope. Yeah. I'll just lope that off. far. I'm just going over here. Right, right we're out of time. Oh, no. Yeah. What about that last one? Yeah, I, I never read the last one. Good, good, good. <laughs> Fancy a quick awkward pause or a mouth organ? What's inside your phone box if you don't mind? Oh, saying? that's the Doctor Who TARDIS thing. Is there something in it? And, uh, yeah, inside the here. Is they're bigger in the inside. Massive. The inside here is uh, uh, the entire Kardashian family. <laughs> and the word TARDIS. Pass out! No, stay in there. The stay word... in there, you fame whores. The word TARDIS wasn't invented for that, right? What? The word TARDIS wasn't invented for that. The word TARDIS is a word that describes something that's bigger on the inside than the outside. Yeah. It was not invented for Doctor Who. Or was it? No, it was. It means oh. time and relative dimension in space. Don't you know anything? Oh, my God. <laughs>